Guys, I gotta be perfectly honest with you, I've actually been enjoying Infinite Warfare lately. Now, put aside like the whole microtransaction, the DLC, and the supply drop issues that all of us have with the game. Put aside all the bugs and like the things that they didn't have in at launch. The game is honestly pretty good in the state it's at right now, and there's a ton of updates that have been happening over the past few months, and this update is nothing short of great for the game. So I'm going to tell you guys everything that they added in over the past few days. Let's go. Now, just like every other mission team in the game, the Blood Anvil will reward you with a weapon variant every single 10 level cap that you hit. So, starting off, the first weapon that you're going to get is a Legendary Widowmaker variant. It has Gambler and Haste. We've seen both of these before, so that one's not too special. Moving along, we have a Deatomizer Strike Karma 45. That's pretty cool. I think that's the first time the Karma's had a Deatomizer attached to it so far in the game. Moving along, we have the Oni Tengu. Now, this one is a really cool variant because usually when you use the oni it fires at a it's a fast firing weapon but the first four to five shots are kind of slow then it speeds up over time this is the complete inverse where it shoots really fast and decelerates over time so i think this will be a fantastic secondary moving along we might have what is now the best smg for going for deatomizer strikes the hvr is one of the best smgs in the game it just has a classic mp5 feel to it the only downside to this weapon i think is that it has a really low ammo capacity so the stockpile increased ammo stacking with extended mag is really going to be good for you guys out there trying to get deatomizer strikes throw on extended mags with this gun and i feel like this will be the best smg for deatomizers in the game and then finally we have an epic karma 45 now this one is pretty cool i don't think we've seen this before berserker gives you the ability to get increased fire rate and reduced recoil for getting kills in a short space of time so that's absolutely awesome if you guys are running gunners this is the gun for you try and get to level 50 on blood anvil and then also has reduced recoil which is really good the karma 45 is a pretty accurate submachine gun already so with reducing recoil and increasing the fire rate with that build in stability i think it's going to be a fantastic weapon so that's not the only thing that they added in. Blood Anvil just went live today, but yesterday we also got 20 brand new prestiges. Now, one of the things that I noticed that I did not see in patch notes was they updated the prestige icons. They're all the same, but when you used to play, they looked really like two-dimensional and flat. Like if you guys can look on my prestige icon right now, they put a glare on the skull, which gives it like a 3D feel. So when you guys are going through and you see various prestiges in the pregame lobby, just look. I feel like the prestige icons look a lot better than they used to. Now, in addition to the Blood Anvil team coming into the game and them updating the prestige icons to what they are now, there are 20 additional prestiges added into the game now, so if you're 10th prestige and you prestige again, you're going to be called Master Prestige 11, and this is going to grant you some things that are exclusive to Master Prestige ranks in Infinite Warfare. So starting off, you get a brand new prestige icon, which I'm going to show you guys on the screen right now. It looks absolutely sick. One like complaint that I had was the prestige icons in Infinite Warfare are pretty lackluster. They're all the same thing, a silver skull, and then like every prestige you had a crossbone behind it. And it's like 5th or 6th prestige, you finally start adding in a little bit of color. I wasn't a fan of the prestige icons, but this master prestige rank looks absolutely insane. Unfortunately, I don't think the prestige rank actually changes like the icon. It's just going to say MP11, MP12, MP13, all the way up to master prestige 30. But 
Once you go into Master Prestige rank, you get a few bonuses that are only exclusive to you in the game. So starting off, you're going to get extra XP from challenges, which includes camo challenges. This is really awesome if you guys are trying to grind for these Master Prestiges. You're going to level up a lot faster. And then on top of that, you also get the ability to go for de-atomizer strikes with classic weapons. Now, this is a really cool thing. And then on top of that, you get extra ammo for those classic weapons to start out. So that's going to make the de-atomizer strikes a little bit easier. You're not going to have to scavenge as often for ammo. And then another thing, you get more XP for using Mark II weapons. So right now, if you're like first prestige through 10th prestige you only get 15 percent additional xp you get an additional xp on top of that 15 percent when you use mark ii weapons if your prestige rank 11 through 30. so that's really cool they don't specify how much additional xp it is but that's going to help you level up a lot faster and then you get new rank icons emblems permanent unlock tokens we've seen that before in prestiges 1 through 10 but one of the things that i think everyone in the community is really excited for is the custom emblem editor is finally back. So I'm going to show you guys what mine looks like on screen right now. It's nothing fancy. It's just my YouTube channel. It took me like a minute to make. So if you guys want to make your own custom emblems and they look absolutely sick, go ahead and link them down below in the comment section. If it's like a link to a YouTube video or a pic on Instagram or Twitter, go ahead and showcase those. If they don't come up, message me and then I'll go through and override. Sometimes YouTube doesn't like people posting hyperlinks, but I'm pretty sure I can override that. And this was a really good update for Infinite Warfare, bringing back the custom emblem editor, 20 additional prestiges, and a brand new mission team. That's something that'll give the players in the community something to grind for that they might not have had if they're already 10th prestige or maxed out their mission team. So I'm really ecstatic about the update. I can't wait to see where they go from here. One thing I hope that they address soon is the competition playlist. Now, I know this is like a minute portion of the community that really cares about competitive play, but for those of you guys that played like Black Ops 2 League Player Advanced Warfare's rank system, they were head and shoulders above this one. Hopefully, Infinity Ward decides to do something, clean it up a little bit, make it, I don't know, they just got to find some better way to introduce it. It's not that great at the moment, but I can't complain. Hopefully, with all these new updates coming up, that will be addressed in the future. And there's one more thing that I want to say before I end the video, and that's if you guys have not been playing Infinite Warfare because you didn't like it at launch or the first couple of months of the game, give it another shot. I was in the same boat. I really didn't enjoy the gameplay and then all the supply drop issues and shoving all that micro DLC down our throat. It really turned me off from the game, but besides that, the gameplay aspect of Infinite Warfare is honestly not that bad right now. It's in a pretty good place after all these updates they've been doing the past few weeks and months. The gameplay mechanic is pretty solid. I'm not going to lie to you guys and say that it's the best Call of Duty title they've ever put out. It's not, but it's still a decent first-person shooter game. If you guys are fans of the Call of Duty mechanics and the movement and everything like that, give Infinite Warfare another shot. I know it's not, like I said, the best game in the world, but it's still a solid first-person shooter. So, guys, that's going to be it for my video. I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of this Hyper Team Deathmatch gameplay. It's a pretty solid one in my own estimation. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe if you did enjoy this video. Like rating, always appreciate it. And until the next video, I'll see ya.